Hey there, everyone. Coming back to you here with another historical uh, baseball matchup uh, with Out of the Ballpark 20. Um, this time around, we have two contrasting baseball clubs. The first one on the docket are the 1911 Brooklyn Dodgers, a team that wasn't very good. They lost 86 games uh, in 1911. They finished seventh in the National League. Uh, Nat Brucker led him in a war. Uh, but they really lacked uh, a lot of um, star talent. Uh, Zach Wheat uh, might be known by a lot of you. Um, he was only 23 years old at this time. Jack Daubert, um, part of the offense, but definitely lacking. And Nap Rucker, as we mentioned, won 22 games. Um, we also have a number of players, a number of starters, different players being played in different roles. It was not an easy year for the Dodgers. And their opponents are going to be the 1978 Philadelphia Phillies that won 90 games in contrast. They actually won the NL East and lost in the NLCS to the Dodgers. They're led by Mike Schmidt, who had a, a huge year uh, with um, 100 walks and 100 RBIs. Larry Boa, Greg Lozinski. Uh, moving further down, you have Steve Carlton in that rotation, Tug McGraw in the pen, Ron Reed, a lot going on here with the Phillies. Obviously, they are the favorites um, in this best of seven series. We'll see if Brooklyn can make a series of it. Um, Elmer Netzer will face Larry Christensen in game one at Veterans Stadium, and we'll see where things go. So the game one action will commence here in a moment as Veterans Stadium uh, is ready to roll. We're in the top of the first with Tex Irvin facing Christensen. And Irwin hits this one deep to center. It's got some carry on it. And this ball is going to go with a man on. A 460-foot-long home run, very unexpected here by the Dodgers of the small ball era. Uh, wow, that was quite a beginning there by uh, Brooklyn as Tex Irwin really put a charge into it. And the game's going to jump all the way ahead here to the fifth and a pitching matchup that's turned into a good one. Bob Boone's up here with the Phillies only having one hit on the day. Let's see if he can do anything. And Boone will lift this one over the left. If it stays fair, it's gone. It does stay fair, and Boone goes deep. Uh, here in Veterans Stadium, the catchers are making a difference in this one. It's 2-1 to one as we move to the bottom of the sixth in this tight game. Base is empty for Larry Boa, who singles up the middle. Boa hoping to rally the Phillies here into making a little bit of a comeback uh, in what's become a close game. Richie Hebner now at the dish. Hebner will hit this one to right. This one will get down. Boa's going to make it all the way to third. If he can beat the throw, he does. Coulson can't get it there in time. And now the Phillies have men on the corners with a bull up there in Lozinski. Lezinski strikes out, though. He can't get it done. And Mike Schmidt's up there now. Let's see if they pitch to him with two outs and two on. They do pitch to him, and they get him. Two strikeouts in a row by Netzer. Schmitz, Schmidt is out. And this game moves to the bottom of the seventh now with Jim Morrison up there. Netzer is still in the game pitching very well. Morrison lifts this one out to left. The play is made, and that'll end the seventh. We move to the top of the eighth. Bob Coulson up there. Christensen's still on the mound. Coulson hit this one down the third. Schmidt's got a hurry. He has no play. An infield single there by Coulson. And Jack Daubert now coming to the dish. Daubert. Muscles won the center field, and this one will get in there for a hit. We have runners on first and second here for Tex Irwin, who's back at the plate here. Irwin hits this one right to the second baseman. 
the play is made at first, but it is a hesitation there by Morrison. He thought about going the second, didn't have a play. By the time he threw the first, it was too late. And now we have the bases loaded with only one out and Zach Wheat at the plate. Big spot here for the Dodgers. Wheat will hit this one to center. Coming over is the center fielder. He'll grab it. Manax tries to make a play at the plate, but the runner will beat it. And it's 3-1 to one now. And that score lasts all the way here to the bottom of the ninth, where Eddie Dent is facing Richie Hebner. The Dodgers on the verge of an upset win here in game one. Fly to left. Coming over there is Wheat. An easy play. Here's Lazinski. Lazinski will line this one to center for a hit. So the Phillies are not done yet here with one out. And Schmidt representing the tying run. Wild pitch here. Lazinski will make it to second. And they better be careful with Schmidt. They are exactly that careful. They walk him. But now Schmidt representing the go-ahead run. And we have Bob Boone representing the winning run. Big spot. This one's grounded the first. It's a force play at second that's made. Schmidt is out there. So we got two outs now. And Gary Mannix is the last hope. Still representing the winning run at the plate. But he can't get the fastball. He strikes out. Eddie Dent did the job there, and the Brooklyn Dodgers pull the upset here in game one. Wouldn't have expected it, but the pitching was outstanding by Elmer Netzer, who went eighth and struck out seventh. That first inning long home run by Tex Irwin seems to have been the, the difference in this one. And Dent got the save there, even though he had a a tight spot in the ninth to get through. So it is the Dodgers, folks, that pull the upset in game one. Very interesting to see how the Phillies respond. They send Steve Carlton to the mound to face Pat Reagan in game two. The action now moves to Veterans Stadium as we go there live. And Bob Coulson at the plate, top of the second inning. <clears throat> Coulson rips one to the left. This is just fair. Coulson will head for second. We have a man on third as well. And now it's second and third with one out for Hub Northern. And Northern hits this one to center. This one will be popped up, though. It doesn't even make it to center field. Boa makes the play. Two outs now for Red Smith. Smith will hit it to right. Play is made there by McBride, and Carlton gets out of the jam here in the second. Move to the bottom of the third with McBride up there, and Morrison on second base with one out. McBride gets this one through to center. They're going to send the man home. The ball is cut off, and the Phillies strike first here in Game 3. McBride with an RBI single. It's one to nothing. Gary Maddox now up there, bottom of the fourth. Maddox to short. That'll be turned at second. Fire to first. The stretch is made for the double play. The Phillies can't come through with anything here in the fourth. We move to the sixth. Carlton still pitching a shutout here as Jack Daubert's up there. Daubert, however, gets hold of the fastball. That's going to leave Veteran Stadium. Out of here. Tie game. Jack Daubert ties the game here in the sixth. And it is one to one as we move to the bottom of the frame. And Greg Lazinski up there. The man on. Lazinski will drop this one to right. Advances the runner to third, which is Richie Hebner. And now with nobody out, the Phillies have Mike Schmidt up there in a big spot. Schmidt will lift this one to right. The catch is made, and the tag is not taken. The chance isn't taken there. It wasn't deep enough to get the runner in. So Bob Boone's up there now with runners on the corners. 
Boone hits it also to right. This again is caught. Coulson now will try to make the play at the plate and they get the lead man. Hebner's thrown out at the plate. Coulson with a great throw. And the Dodgers showing some leather here as they prevent the Phillies from taking the lead. We move to the seventh. Carlton's still up there. Joe Hummel on the on, at the plate and he hits one down the line. He will make this a double. So Hummel leads off with a double here in the seventh. Coulson up there now with nobody out. Coulson will put this one down. Advance the runner the third. Sacrifice there by the small ball Dodgers as you might expect. And Hub Northern now with a chance to give his team the lead. Second and third and he hits it to first but the play is made there. Carlton covering the back, and the game continues, tied at one. We move now to Red Smith up there with two out. And a bonk is called. <laughs> How do you like that? Steve Carlton uh, looking for an explanation, and the game turns, if you would believe it, on a bonk as Carlton... Made the mistake there, and it was called immediately. So we move now to the bottom of the seventh, and again the Phillies trailing. Jose Cardinal up there. Pat Regan on the mound. Cardinal lifts this over to foul territory, but Smith pulls it in to retire the side. We move to the bottom of the eighth now with McBride up there and nobody out. McBride lifts this one to right. Does it have enough? No, it is caught out there. Coulson chased it down. A very nice play. And Richie Hebner up there now. Hebner will hit this one in the hole. It'll get through. So a two-out sing single by Richie Hebner. Two-to-one ball game. Mike Schmidt now with two men on and two out. Schmidt looks at one inside. They throw him four straight bad ones, and the bases are loaded. A huge spot now for Pat Regan as Bob Boone's up there, but the base is full. Boone hits this one the second. The play is made beautifully there. Hummel throws the man out, and the Dodgers are hanging on, ladies and gentlemen. Zach Wheat up there now. We're in the ninth, and Wheat will hit this one to right field he tries to extend it to a double he does so a two out double there by wheat but we're going to move all the way to ninth here where gary maddox is up there with nobody on nobody out he'll lead off the inning against eddie dent who's out here to close it He's going to have his work cut out for him because a leadoff single here by Maddox. And Jerry Martin now up there representing the winning run. Martin will go up the middle. This one gets through. All the way to third goes the advanced runners. And the Phillies are in business as they got runners on the corners here. Nobody out. And Tim McCarver pinch hitting here. Infield in. McCarver hits it to third. No play. It's an infield hit. They won't risk the throw. McCarver comes through with the RBI, and now Elmer Steele on the game as Bake McBride tries to give the Phillies the win. McBride, a line at the center. This might score the winning run. They're going to hold the runners, and we have the bases loaded. Nobody out. Infield in. Larry Boas up there. Can he win it for the Phillies? Boa will ground it the force is made however at home and the winning run cannot score here it's going to be now up to richie hebner to come through hebner does he hits it all the way to left this one is going to be caught but the tag is made and the winning run is going to score mccarver crosses the plate a big ninth inning rally here by the phillies they get two in the ninth to win the game 
Brooklyn couldn't hold the lead, and they take it 3-2 to two on a walk-off sack fly. Uh, Tim McCarver driving in the tying run and scoring the winning run. And Philly avoids the embarrassment of going down 2-0. They win, uh, albeit in a very dramatic fashion. And this series now, folks, is going to Brooklyn, which isn't very far away from Philadelphia. For game number three, uh, Dick Ruthven is going to face Nat Brucker in game three, and we got a tie series. So we will head live to Brooklyn and see if we can break the tie in this series. Nat Brucker is in a big jam here in the top of the first with Mike Schmidt up there. Nobody out. The base is loaded. And Schmidt hits this one deep to center, carrying back over the center fielder's head. This will clear the bases. Schmidt with a three-run triple here in the first inning as the Phillies break open the bats against Nat Rucker here to silence the crowd in Brooklyn. And they're not done yet. Bob Boone up there now. Boone will drill one to left center. Way back there. It will leave the yard. Boone's second homer of the series. This one, folks, went 482 feet. What a shot by Boone. It is 5 to nothing as we move to the fifth. Hebner up there with two on. And Hebner lines this one into the spacious outfield here at Washington Park. We have two runs scoring. It is seven to one now, Phils. They've really come out ready here in game three and laid it on. The Dodgers will move all the way to the bottom of the ninth. It is eight to nothing. Dick Ruthven has been brilliant. There's two men on here, and that one will drop in. So Ruthven in some trouble here in the ninth. He is replaced by Todd Jackson and Tex Irwin up there. And Irwin will lift this one to right center. This will get down, and Brooklyn will get on the board here. It is a two-run double by Irwin. Maybe too little too late here by the Dodgers. It's 8-2 with Zach Wheats up there with nobody out. And Wheat will hit this one high in the air. Playable. Maddox has it. They'll let the run score. It is 8-3 now. With Red Smith at the plate. Smith will hit this one to left. That one will be caught. And this game is over, folks. A four-run ninth inning by Brooklyn is not enough. It was that five-run first inning and then some by the Phillies as they take the 2-1 series lead. They rebounded here well. Bob Boone with that long home run went two for four. Ruthven was very good up until the end. And it is 2-1 in the series now as we move to game four. A crucial game at that. See if the Phillies can take complete control of the series or if the Dodgers can again surprise and get right back into it. Bell versus Jim Catt. George Bell versus Jim Cat is the pitching matchup. We're in the top of the second with Bob Boone up there and Schmidt on first base. Boone will hit this one to third. It is scooped up and made into a double play for the Dodgers to get out of this threat. We move to the bottom of the frame. Jim Cat facing John Hummel. And Hummel lifts this one deep to left. Way back there, it will go. A solo shot. As Greg Lazinski watches it go, Hummel with a 438-foot homer. That gives Brooklyn the lead one to nothing. We'll move to the fourth with Schmidt up there and a man on second. Mike Schmidt will single up the middle. Lazinski will hold it third. Got runners on the corners here for Boone. Boone will hit it back to the mound. A liner. Big play there by Bell. It's just a reaction there, and he caught it for the second out. Here's Gary Maddox. 
Maddox hits the line or two right, but it is caught by Coulson. And the lead for Brooklyn remains all the way to the eighth inning. Morrison up there against Bell. Morrison will hit it to center. He'll lead off with a single, and that one nothing lead is hanging by a thread as Brooklyn tries to hold on. Jerry Martin up there. Martin lays down the bunt. Play is made at first. Runner advances to second. Morrison now representing the tying run as Bake McBride is up there. McBride is an out. The runner cannot advance. And the last shot in the inning now is Larry Boa. Boa will shorten up his swing and hit it to center. Here comes the tying run the plate. Here comes the throw. It is beaten. Morrison scores. Boa ties the game. And Philly has come right back here in this tight one to get back into it. Here's a single in the bottom of the eighth by Northern Tug McGraw is the new pitcher. Red Smith up there. Smith will hit this one to right. But there's a man there. Eddie Zimmerman now competing. Zimmerman also hits this one to right. That's routine. Two men down. Jack Daubert up there. Daubert pops it up. So the Athletics can't get anything here in the eighth. And we will move to the ninth inning now with Lazinski leading off. Lazinski will go the other way. This one is lifting and a diving catch out there is made by Coulson. A wonderful catch and right to Rob Lazinski. Here now is Bob Boone. He'll single her right. With two out, Boone gets on base. Here's Gary Maddox. Strike three. Yeah. Maddox looks at strike three, and the Phillies get nothing in the ninth. Bottom of the ninth. Ron Reed on the pitch against Dolly Stark. And Stark will fly this one easily to center. Maddox is there. Hummel now at the plate. Hummel will hit this one up the middle. It'll get through for a single. Two men out. This one's an easy play to second. And we are going to extras, folks. Extra innings in a 1-1 game. We'll see how it plays out. As Eddie Dent is the pitcher. This one the third. Play is made there. Smith fields it. To McCarver up there. McCarver will single to center with a one out. Here's Big McBride. Strike three. McBride can't catch up to it. Strike three there. Boa up there. He's the one who tied this game. And Boa hits this one off the first baseman, and it can't be fielded by Daubert. Boa gets on there with two on, and Richie Hebner has a chance here to give his team the lead. Hebner, however, can't get it done. He hits it to center. This one will be played easily by Northern. We move to the bottom of the 10th. Warren Brewster now the pitcher. Strike three, yeah! And Brewster with a breaking ball gets a strikeout. Here's Red Smith. Red Smith draws the walk with two outs. Here's a line shot to right. This will be played. McBride has it. We are moving to the 11th. Greg Lazinski up there. Lazinski will single the center to lead off the 11th for the Phillies. Here's Mike Schmidt. Schmidt will hit into a force play. He'd be throw it first. 
So one man on, one man out for Bob Boone. Boone will hit this one the third. The turn is made. This one is a double play. And the Phillies can't convert it. And a very tight, well-pitched game here moves into the bottom of the 11th. Jack Daubert up there. Daubert strikes out. Tech Thurwin now. Irwin hits it to right. Play is made. High drama here in Brooklyn. Maddox up there. He draws a walk. We're in the 12th. Brooklyn desperately trying to tie this series up. Brooklyn trying to avoid being down 3-1. There's the bunt to advance the runner. So runner on second here as Harrelson puts down a bunt. And Ted Sizemore up there with only one out. Sizemore hits at the third, but the play is made there. Runner will have to hold. Here's Larry Boa with two men on. Boa will line this one to center. That'll get down. And the, the go-ahead run is going to score. Larry Boa does it again. He drives in another single, just as he did to tie the game. And it's 2-1 to one now in the bottom of the 12th. Randy Lurch on here, trying to close it out. John Hummel at the plate. Hummel will hit this one to center. That's going to be routine. Maddox is there. One out for Zach Wheat. We don't get a single to center field. So Brooklyn isn't dead yet. Bob Coulson now at the plate. Coulson hits the third. Play is made at first. Tying run advances to second. So Hub Northern now with a shot. He takes a walk. So the winning runs on first. Tying run on second. And Red Smith up there against Raleigh Eastwood. This one's hit back to the mound. Eastwood makes the play at first and fully will. Make it happen here. They came from behind, down one nothing. most of this game. It took them 12 innings, but they do win it. Larry Boa, really the hero of this game, folks. Boa drove in the tying and the go-ahead run. Jim Cat was very good. George Bell were good. Hummel did end up 3 for 5, but it was the Phillies that got the win. And now they got the commanding lead in the series, three games to one. Much of what we would expect. Philadelphia in control. Game 5 will show Larry Christensen going for the Phils to try to close out the series against Elmer Netzer, who was very good in Game 1. So the action now in Game number 5. We'll go live to Washington Park with Zach Weed up there and men on the corners, bottom of the first inning. Larry Christensen delivers. And this one's lying to center. Will it drop? It will. It'll drop in there for a hit. Hummel will score. It's one to nothing Brooklyn. Bottom of the sorry, top of the second now. Bob Boone up there with two men on. Boone draws the walk. Four straight bad ones there on Elmer Netzer's deliveries. Maddox now up with the bases loaded. And Maddox lines one to center. This one will get through. One runs in. They'll hold the runner at third. We got a tie game with nobody out. The Phillies looking to put the nail here in this series with a big inning. Jim Morrison up there, but he'll strike out with the bases full. A big strike out there. And now the pitcher's up there. Three. Christensen swings and misses. So Netzer's pitching out of this jam very impressively. If he can get past Bake McBride here with the bases loaded. But McBride puts a charge into that one deep to center. That's over the center fielder's head. Just what the Phillies needed. This will clear the bases. A three-run double by Bake McBride. 
He just drilled that one, a mistake on the mound by Netzer, and it is four to one now as we move to the bottom of the fifth. Bob Coulson up there with a man on. Coulson will hit this one down the line, and it'll get past the left fielder all the way into the corner. This is going to plate a run, and Brooklyn coming back here. It's four to two on the run scoring double by Bob Coulson. John Hummel up there now trying to do even more damage. He hits one the other way, but this one will drop as well, and that'll score a run. So Brooklyn, as Coulson beats the throw here, have scored twice. It's 4-3 to three with Jake Daubert up there. And Daubert hits a single to right. This will advance a run in the third. Is the throw in time? No, it's not. So the big inning continues here for the Dodgers. Tex Irwin up there with two outs. Irwin will hit this one to left off the end of the... where he got jammed on that one and drilled it the other way, but not any damage there. The catch is made. It's 4-3. to three. Bottom of the sixth now. Zach Weed up there. Christensen still on the mound. Weedle single to center. Base hit there. Larry Boa tried to make that play. Couldn't quite judge it well. Dolly Stark, though, strikes out. And there's one down as Hub Northern comes up. And Northern will line a single to center. So this will now put two runners on with only one out here in the sixth. Red Smith coming to the plate. Strike three, Smith yeah. strikes out. Big strikeout by Christensen. And a big spot for Bill Davidson. Davidson will hit this one into right field. It is playable. Out there is the center fielder Maddox. And Philly gets out of this jam. 4-3 to three remains the score. We go to the bottom of the 7th. With John Hummel up there. Hummel checks his swing and gets the walk with a one out. Jake Daubert now up there. Daubert will hit it to the hole in third. The play is made at first. Hummel advances to second. He's the tying run. Tex Irwin up there. Trying to do exactly that, tie this ball game. But Hill inside out the ball to the third baseman. Schmidt makes the play. And that will end this frame. Game moves to the eighth. Now Schmidt batting with two down. Mike Schmidt will drill this one to left for a single on an 0-2 pitch. We'll move now to the bottom of the eighth. Zach Weed up there with nobody out. Can Brooklyn come back? Wheat does his part and deposits that single to right field. He pulled that ball well within, well inside the lines. Dolly Stark up there now with nobody out. Stark lays down the bunt. Play is made by Boone. The runner will advance. So trying to manufacture this run is Hub Northern's is now facing Raleigh Eastwift here late in the game. That's back to the mound. Eastwick will make the play at first. Two down. Quickly off the mound. A nice play by the pitcher. And now a big spot for Red Smith as he tries to tie this game with two down. Smith lifts it. Two left. The ball will drop, and that will tie this game. We have another late inning comeback. It's a 4-4 game now. Two runners on, two out. And there's a force play at second, which will end the inning, but Brooklyn does tie the game, and we'll move now to the ninth. A leadoff walk here by Maddox, as Elmer Steele is on the mound, and Maddox is going to go for second. He will get there without a throw. Maddox. Steals second base here, and now a threat. It's Jose, Jose Cardinal's up there, but he looks at strike three. 
So Tim McCarver now pinch hitting. He's been good in the series. He draws a walk. It's first and second for Bake McBride, who's already done damage today. Let's see if he can come through in this big spot. McBride hits it, though, two second. The double play is not turned. He beats the throw. Runners on the corners now for Larry Boa. And Boa will hit this one to center field. Should be playable. It is. And the game will advance here to the bottom of the ninth. Hummel will single the center. A good start to the ninth for the Dodgers. Jake Daubert up there. There goes the runner. Throw to second. It's to strike him out, throw him out. Pitch now is hit to the first baseman, unassisted. That'll end the inning. And just like in game four, we are going to extras in game five. Four to four. This one lifted to left, routine. Wheat makes the play. Mike Schmidt up there now. Schmidt strikes out. Ron Reed now on there. Zach Wheat at the plate. And Wheat will hit it to first. The play is made, though, by Hebner. And that will end, or that'll be two outs now in the bottom of the 10th. Strike three. Of Northern watches strike through. And we're going to move to the 11th now, tied at four. Bob Boone will hit this one to right for a single to lead off the 11. Here comes Gary Maddox against Pat Reagan. And there's ball four. So a threat here by the Phillies with two men on. There's the bunt. This will advance the runners. Harrelson squares up to bunt. And big spot for Ted Sizemore. Can he get the Phillies up here? Strike three. Sizemore strikes out in a big way, a big out. And it comes back now to Larry Boa as the Dodgers look like they're going to escape again. And will the throw be beaten? No. The play's made at first. And this inning is over. The Phillies waste the golden chance here to win this game or get ahead and a play made easily there to right field Bob Coulson up strike three. Coulson strikes out Richie Hebner up now in the 12th Hebner lines out to center. Here's Mike Schmidt. Schmidt lines one down the left field line. This will go for extra bases. Schmidt will make the turn, get in the second here with two outs. So a late extra base hit by Schmidt. Bob Boone now comes to the plate. The ball gets away. Schmidt will go to third with two outs. Boone's still up there, but he strikes out. And Boone can't get the job done with runners in scoring position. We move to the bottom of the 12th. Jim Lonborg up there. A leadoff walk to Hummel. Jake Daubert up there. Daubert will hit this one to short. Play is made at first. Runner was going there. And Hummel now on second with Tex Irwin up there. Irwin will hit it to second. Advances the run of the third with two down. Dolly Stark now the batter. Stark hits it to the hole. It'll get through. And that is a walk-off hit by Dolly Stark. As Boa lunged for the ball, he couldn't make the play, and Brooklyn stays alive. They come from behind to win this one in 12 innings, 5-4. to four. 
John Alma was three for four, Zach Wheat three for five, and it was the comeback from the eighth inning and then the win in the twelfth. Also some great relief work for the Dodgers as they have cut the deficit in the series three to two as we move back to Veterans Stadium to play out here the last two games or maybe one game of the series. Um, Steve Carlton will try to close it out for the Phillies in game six. So let's move through the action now. Live from Veterans Stadium. We move to the bottom of the second with Richie Hebner at the plate. Facing off against Cy Barger. And Hebner will hit this one deep to center. The ball will drop. Hebner is going to make the turn. He's going to actually look for three. Hebner all the way to third with a triple. Two out triple for Richie Hebner. We move, though, to the fifth, where the game remains scoreless. Gary Maddox up there with the man on. Both pitchers doing well here. Maddox will hit this one, and the ball will get through the middle there, first and second with a one out. Let's see what Jim Morrison can do. Morrison hits it to short. The play is made at second over the first. Double play. And that'll retire the side. So the scoreless game continues here to the bottom of the six with Larry Boa up there. And Boa will go hard to left. This ball will go all the way to the wall. And Boa will get in the second with a one-out double. McBride on third. And here come the Phillies as Richie Hebner now faces the infield in defense. But he lifts it to right. The play is made. The tag is made. Here comes the throw. McBride will beat it. And the Phillies are the first to score in this ball game. It's one to nothing. There's a line shot up the middle by Irwin to start the seventh. John Hummel now up there. And Hummel will drive this one in the gap. Running over. Great diving play. By Maddox. Wow, that's for the highlight reel. Maddox fully extends and makes an outstanding play to rob extra basis. But a single here down by Wheat. And the Dodgers continue here their rally with one out. Strike three. But Carlton will get Coulson on strike three. And Bert Tooley up there. He'll hit one the short, but was got it. Forces made it second. And the fans still buzzing by the play out there in center field as we hit the seventh inning stretch. stretch. With runners on, on all the bases now. Doc Scanlon on the mound, and he walks Jerry Martin to force in a run. So a big insurance run here for the Phillies. Making it 2 0, and we move to the ninth with Ron Reed on the mound and John Hummel up there and two out. Hit is to right deep. Going back there is McBride. He's got it. And that'll do it. The Phillies come back home and win it behind the dominance of Steve Carlton. Carlton just had it going today to close off this series. He struck out five, worked seven innings. The pen came in and did a job. And it was quite a defensive display by the Phillies. But overall, they win it in six, even as the Dodgers put up a capable battle here in some of these games. We had a couple games hit extras. We look at the Dodgers hitting. Nobody really standing out. Nobody had over four RBIs. Uh, Tex Irwin hit that home run in game one and really didn't do anything beyond that. The Dodgers did show some very good pitching in this series, but just wasn't enough for them. Pat Regan there with some solid innings worked. And over to the Phillies, we had Bake McBride driving five runs, but he only hit 250. Lazinski hit 348. Mike Schmidt, 238 with only three RBIs, a quiet series. So the MVP does go to Lazinski, even though he didn't drive in any runs. Uh, looking at the pitching, 
might be more inclined to give it to Steve Carlton, who struck out 10 and pitched well in both his outings, including that nice performance in the Game 6 win. So that'll wrap it up from here. The series goes to the favorites. 78 Phillies defeat the 1911 Dodgers. Four games to two. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you'll join us for our next installment of Out of the Baseball Park Historical Matchup.